Hello, Mr. Nygren here. Welcome to Game of Thrones Total War Enhanced, but it's a submod for it by Firestorm. So if you didn't know this, I uh, used to modify Medieval Total War Kingdoms since uh, I believe uh, January 2016. And uh, I joined forces with a guy that called himself Viltima Ratio, a modeler. He made models based on the Game of Thrones TV show, and uh, yeah, I cooperated with him and um, released at least three or four versions between the summer of 2016 and the summer of 2017. Uh, then I believe that in uh, 2019 I used an <coughs> a user uh, who calls himself Firestorm uh, on Discord and Mod B. He uh, <coughs> he's, he uh, started to work on his own project, which was pretty much the same project, but he made his own sub mod, and I joined forces with him in 2019, and uh, we cooperated during 2020 and uh, early 2021, and released Game of Thrones to the War version 5.5 and 5.6. Between, I believe, February 22, 2021, and May 11, 2021. Anyway, <coughs> this guy Firestorm has released his own sub mod now, uh, which he calls uh, the Retro Mod. So it's called, I believe, GOT Retro Mod, or Game of Thrones of War Retro Mod. So it's the same mod, but it's using a different map, and it's using new scripts, new units, and uh, one new faction in the campaign. <coughs> there are some differences between this version and uh, Game of Thrones at Lore Enhanced version 5.6. So the 5.6 version is using the map by Soul Games Inkle, but it's been reduced in size. I believe the original map by Soul Games Inkle had 199 regions, which is the maximum number of regions you can have in Medieval Total War Kingdoms and in its mods, but uh, <coughs> I believe that the, the map that we are using in 5.6 had uh, reduced the number of regions a little bit, and in this version, the retro mod, I believe that we have a completely different map. I, I wasn't a part of uh, the development of this sub-mod, by the way. I, I uh, helped build him a ratio with version 4.0, until the release of version 4.9. Then I released a smaller update in 2019 called 5.0 and I cooperated with, I believe, Firestorm and released version 5.5 and 5.6 in 2021. This retro submod is a submod entirely made by Firestorm. Uh, where he's using certain assets from the earlier mod, of course like the units by Viltima Ratio, uh, or some of my old family member portraits, and uh, Inarus's art, and UI, and intro video, and uh, some of the scripts maybe, and then P-Man's uh, strat models, battle models, some of the battle models, uh, and uh, P-Man's voices and such, and the old voices from Inners as well. Okay, so we'll check the, the campaign immediately. So this submod is Firestorm submod. I wasn't a part of the development. He credited me in the credits, but I, the only thing I did was I answered his questions when he had a question about uh, the modding. Uh, but I didn't really mod this version at all. Uh, but I believe that he made it from scratch. He added a new map and uh, added everything onto the map from scratch, ported stuff from older versions of Game of Thrones Enhanced and made his own changes. So you can say that this, <coughs> this sub-mod <coughs> aimed to be like the older versions of Game of Thrones Enhanced with the same features and the same scripts and the same same recruitments and such and then he added some new scripts and new um, units and such. Okay, we'll check the campaign map, the Vestros campaign. Oh, by the way, 
it's better to go to multiplayer, hot seat campaign, and select everyone. So the playable factions in the campaign. You will have no battle time limit. Uh, other resolve battles won't be on. You want the passwords on. You throw CPU moves won't be on. We will have managed all cities. The difficulty on battle could be medium. And difficulty on the map. I think it could be medium as well. Or maybe they sh uh, we should have it on very hard. Okay, so the playable factions are House Stark, led by Rob Stark, the King in the North. <coughs> then we have House Bolton, led by Roose Bolton. <coughs> and Ramsay Bolton is the, the heir. Okay, then we have um, House Greyjoy, led by Balon Greyjoy. I believe he on his heir. We have House Arryn. And we have Robert Arryn as the faction leader here. So this campaign also takes place during the War of the Five Kings, so during Season 3 pretty much, and uh, Season 2 and Season 3, and uh, <coughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the same setting as the other Game of Thrones that were enhanced mods, just it, uh, some differences, we have House Frey, led by Valder Frey, House Tully, led by Edmure Tully, we have House Lannister, led by Tywin Lannister, and House Baratheon of King's Landing, led by Joffrey Baratheon, House Baratheon of Dragonstone, led by Stannis Baratheon. Uh, so I don't know why the name isn't fully visible here. I believe in 5.6 it was. Maybe he has longer names or there might be some difference. Maybe it's because the ho it's the hot seat campaign. Maybe it's slightly different, the, the user interface of the hot seat campaign. Okay, uh, and we have <coughs> House Baratheon of uh, Storm's End, led by Renly Baratheon. We have House Tyrell, led by <coughs> Mace Tyrell. And we have House, House Tyrell, yeah. and House Martell, led by Goran Martell, I believe. And then we have House Targaryen, led by Viserys Targaryen. But Danny or Daenerys Targaryen uh, is the heir. And she will know, I believe Aegon Targaryen is the heir. And Viserys is the leader. And uh, <coughs> Daenerys Targaryen will spawn in, in the late game, at least in 5.6. She spawns on top of a dragon. I believe that's the case here too. And the reason she is not the heir is because... <coughs> she, she isn't available from the start because she rides a dragon in this mod <coughs> unlike in 5.6 I believe that Firestorm decided to have only one unit of dragons with three dragons in one unit and then we'll be riding one of the dragons uh, in 5.6 instead I made three different units of dragons but they are only one dragon per unit so in, in that mod she will also be riding a dragon, but it, it, she, she won't have more than one dragon in her unit. Okay, so that's the difference that here there are like one unit with three dragons, and in 5.6 there are three units with one dragon per unit. Okay, then we have the Wildlings, led by the King Beyond the Wall, Man's Raider. We have the Night's Watch, led by this old man, I don't really remember his name. Anyway, the leader of the Night's Watch before Jon Snow and, and the others took over. Okay, and then we have a new faction on, in the campaign, the Dothraki, and they are not led by Khal Drogo because he is a part of the Targaryen faction. So the, you can say that the Targaryens include the Dothraki, but the Dothraki also has their own like faction led by others, and they will be the main opponent of Danny in smaller part of uh, Essos that is in the mod. But I believe there, there are also the free cities, but they are not a faction in this version of the mod. Instead they are rebels. There are a lot of rebel areas in Essos that are um, defended by 
free people units. Uh, I mean uh, free city units. So they're free cities, they are not their own faction, but they have rebel areas on the map in essence. And then we have also the others. So the undead they start in the far north and have one area I believe and they spawn units during the campaign. They are not playable in the submod. Okay, we'll start the game. Oh, music on is because it's the show. Here I have Ramsey Bolt. Ramsey Snow. So this submod was released uh, about maybe a, a week ago, a few days ago, a week ago, something like that. It's very recent, released during October 2022, I believe. Proud fee Free Folk, so the Free Folk is the faction that you start with here. So uh, Firestorm has added uh, welcome messages or intro messages to every faction in the game that you can play as. So probably all the factions except the, the others, which is the Undead faction, because they are not playable. And the Free Cities of Essos were removed as a, a playable faction and replaced with the Dothraki. So we have the Free Folk or the Wildlings, and they have their own intro message here. So it's added intro message. It, I believe uh, 5.6 doesn't have any intro messages. Then it has a different map. Let's see. This is the entire map. It spans more of Essos than the map by Soul Game Single. But I believe it's not as detailed as that map. I would say that I would prefer probably Soul Game Singles map, but <clears throat> I believe that Firestorm uh, thought that map was too big and uh, he prefers smaller maps, that's why he changed the map. And also he said that uh, certain factions, like House Aaron for example, they had problems moving on Soul Game Singles map, uh, while on this map they <coughs> have a much easier time moving. So that's why he thought this map was better. Uh, but I refused to replace um, Soul Game Singles map in the official verse, and that's why this became a sub mod. Because I didn't want uh, to replace the map. Okay. Uh, so he has added new custom art and buildings. And I don't know if he has borrowed them from other mods or if he has done them, made them himself or so. Uh, probably borrowed from some other mod. So in, in this mod and in 5.6 the Wildlings have a proper roster, they have an entire army. Not just five units, like in the older versions, but uh, an entire proper army. Okay, and in this sub mod, see that they start with bunch of units, including valley spearmen, raiders, cave dwellers, <coughs> valley javeliners, bone warriors, and men of the frozen shore. I don't know about custom cities, if this version of the mod has the same custom settlements that I used for the wide lanes. I believe I used the, El uh, the Albion custom cities from Wrath of the North and the Lost King. Uh, I don't know if they are in use here, probably not. Okay. Check the family tree. We have Man's Raider, the King Beyond the Wall. Proper trait that um, makes the, the, uh, gives him the title. We have a Torment Guy in Spain. 
<coughs> steer magnet of 10 own proper that model that might be new I don't believe he had a strat model in uh, in 5.6 okay we have uh, one for this guy too Seagorn <coughs> okay and then we have <coughs> Battle Shirt the Lord of of Bones and Great Walrus Grit Character 2 Oral From a Dog's Head and Garrick King's Blood I believe this mod is also using the same custom settlement for Castle Black as <coughs> 5.6 but might use Vanilla Cities in, in this area ok, let's check a different faction <coughs> Proud Free Folk so the Night's Watch also get info and then they get their own intro Order of the Black Brotherhood probably. So the, this mod is using different uh, models cities at the wall same uh, battlefield model here we have Jon Snow Bastard of Winterfell okay. Lord Commander Jor Mormont I remember now he's the father of Yora Mormont. And we have Jon Snow, we have Elsa Thorn. And we have uh, Corin Halfhand. And Dane Malister. Coulter Pike. Total Jarvik. And Owen Marsh. Okay. By the way, diplomacy, my thoughts seem to be allied with a lot of factions. I don't agree with that uh, because I had um, this system in, in version 5.5 .5 of Game of Thrones War Enhanced. Uh, we had the Night's Watch were allied with everyone, and that will, of course, lead to war because uh, when, for example, the Lannisters declare war on on one of these or maybe they are already at war it won't happen but let's say one of these that are not at war will declare war on another one of these that are not at war that then the Night's Watch will be forced into picking a side and uh, yeah uh, that means that the Night's Watch would uh, declare war or at least lose the alliance with, with the one that is uh, let's say that uh, House Greyjoy would declare war on House Stark. No, they are already at war, but let's say House Tyrell. House Tyrell would declare war on House Stark. Then the Night's Watch would be forced into picking a side, which would uh, cancel that alliance anyway. And uh, then they would risk being attacked or invaded by either House Tyrell or House Stark. And in my playthrough of version 5.6, how Stark always ended up the enemy of the Night's Watch and invaded the wall. And the only way to pre prevent that from happening <coughs> was to remove most of the alliances and only have them allied with House Stark, with House Tully, and with House Lannister, and Baratheon of King's Landing and with I believe uh, House Lannister so that uh, they 
wouldn't have to pick a side if, for example, House Tyrell and House Stark would declare war on each other. By keeping them allied only, House Stark, House Tully, maybe House Frey, and uh, maybe House Arryn, and uh, and uh, uh, to put it simply, just, uh, I believe I had them allied only to very few prevent the situation where they would need to pick a side and the one that made the most sense is of course uh, House Stark because they are a neighbor, a very powerful neighbor that would otherwise probably invade the wall and that's not intended of course that the Starks would invade the Night's Fort. Uh, of course the Boltons were not allied, they are a neutral faction uh, at least in 5.6 here they seem to be allied maybe in lore, I don't know but they did fight the, the Bolton in the show in later seasons so, so I made it so that they were only allied to House Stark, House Tully and uh, maybe House Arryn and Lannisters and Joffrey because uh, <coughs> that way the Lannisters and the Starks can fight each other and the Lannisters and the Tullys but uh, anyone else, if they declare war on the Starks or on the Tullys, then, then it won't affect the, the Night's Watch. Uh, what will happen here is that uh, sooner or later uh, one of these other factions like Renly, Stannis and uh, Tyrell or Martell, they might attack the Starks or the Tullys and then the Night's Watch will be forced to pick a side. So in order to prevent that, I suggest uh, looking at 5.6 and uh, and changing the alliances exactly to how it is there. I don't remember exactly how, how I had done it. It's been a while since I played that mode. I never played it. I just checked it out and did a preview video back in 2021, early 2021. So I need to start that mode too and check it out in order to <clears throat> get myself up to date. So this day is my best day when it comes to speaking English because I'm totally not feeling it today. But anyway, <coughs> I have uh, some days that I'm really bad and then I have some days that I'm better. Uh, and this seems to be one of the days I'm bad because I, I, I did sleep, but for some reason I... Feel uh, a bit slow in the head. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, uh, it's usually my English is affected negatively when I'm not uh, when I feel uh, kind of tired in my head. I don't know why I feel tired. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I, I suggest looking at uh, I see uh, how stark. Allied House Bolton, Tully, Night's Watch, yeah, but I think the Night's Watch um, should have fewer allies at the start. But besides that, I think looks great. Let's change that. <coughs> Order of the Black Brotherhood, and then we have the Noble House of Stark. They have exactly 10 regions. Okay, the leaders. King in the north, so he hasn't added a video. 5.6 has a bunch of videos that this mod lacks. That's East Tad. Okay. <coughs> I believe one difference between this mod and 5.6 is that it's using the older rosters of Game of Thrones that were enhanced. I believe with him a ratio, he remade his models in early 2017 two times. I believe this mod is using the models from the earliest version 4.0 and from the 4.5 version released in December. 
and 16. So I believe the models from the first version released in August 2016 and the models from the 4.5 version released in December the same year. And, and uh, it's not using the models from the summer of 2017 that the other version is using for the most part. I believe the, the version since 2017. Uh, but 5.6 is different from the 2017 version and 2019 versions uh, in that it, um, it changed uh, the way uh, recruitment worked and uh, removed a bunch of units, uh, mostly minor house units. You can say that 5.0 had more troops than uh, 5.6. But 5.6 has a much better map. I have a, a unfinished VIP that I were working on back in, I believe, uh, 2019 and 2020. At the same time, Firestorm was working on his version, and the reason we didn't take that version as the main uh, release was because that version. <coughs> I couldn't add any new scripts, and we needed scripts for the wildlings, for the undead, and for the the dragons of the Targaryens. And such. We, we wanted those units to spawn, but uh, I couldn't add any new scripts because something was wrong with the old version. But the old version had a larger map and uh, had uh, larger rosters for all the factions. They used the maximum number of, I believe, uh, minor house units while Firestorm's version that we decided to use because it could add scripts, it uh, it didn't have the it didn't have as many units as the other version that I were working on. Uh, and this version has uh, re-added the old models and added some new, but it doesn't have all the models of the older versions, but it doesn't have um, the same system as the, the 5.6 version either. <coughs> Unfortunately, this was a really bad day <laughs> for, for speaking. Okay. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we have um, Starks. Yeah, the, the, the units should be different compared to 5.6. Hopefully, he's using the old Norton units. The old, the, both the old regional units and the old house units. They they were darker. They looked more like in the show. They were less colorful. Some of them looked worse, but <coughs> some of them looked better. For example, the Boltons I thought looked better. Uh, okay, let's end the turn. Turn of House Bolton. They have the same models as these strat models. They were based on the old models. House Bolton. Okay. Start with three areas, I believe. Carehold, Dreadfort. No two areas. No three. They have this area too. Bruce Bolton, Iron Hall. Ah, the cost of the new red one. Okay, let's end the turn. Okay. Ah, it's house gray. This version has the old ships. I believe that uh, 5.6 has much better ships than these. But Firestorm might have preferred the vanilla ships. I don't know why. He said something about that, I believe, more than a year ago. I used the same ships as in Fire and Blood. In other words, I asked permission from P-Man to use his ships that look exactly like in the show because the models were ported from an official game. Well, these ships are obviously just the vanilla ships, so... Yeah, that's also one thing I would have changed if I were a team, uh, if I were a fire, but... 
you might prefer the vanilla ships. I prefer the pro ships. Anyway, we have different ships in this version. Uh, okay. This version has more strap models. Okay, has Aaron. We have a Harold Air, the Tier Baelish. Uh, it would have made sense to make the Tier the Air because she kind of was a guardian to Robin Aaron. He led the house. And they aided, I believe, uh, Jon Stark or Jon Snow against the Bolton. But anyway, that happened later, so maybe he wants to be true to the time period. And uh, during the War of the Five Kings, but he was in King's Land. However, I don't recall any air. So maybe that guy is just uh, an air in the, the game. Harold R. No idea. Okay. House Frey. Okay. Much to see. House Tully. And this has Lannister, Geoffrey. Just skip through the too many intro messages. Can we play hot seat? So we will just skip through. This version of the mod should have a lot of units that the other one didn't have. This is by far the best version when it comes to scripts and uh, I believe uh, unique units in every faction because while Firestorm doesn't have as many units as some of the older versions of Game of Thrones of War Enhanced still has the most unique ones. He wanted fewer units but more unique ones. He wanted every unit to be different from each other. He didn't want clone units, you know, the same unit with different weapons. Uh, instead he wanted uh, a lot of uh, visually different units. And I believe the older units by Wilhelm Ratio aim to be completely unique per faction, while uh, the later units from 1017 uh, were very similar for many of the factions because they decided to instead, uh, <coughs> instead give all the Westeros houses, for example, the same style and then just give, I believe, each faction house one or two unique units so that most of the units look the same uh, while in the older versions he had uh, attempted to add unique models for every faction, that's why Firestorm prepared that and went back to the old models. And in this sub mod, uh, I believe that most of the factions are very unique and will feel different from each other. Uh, and in 5.6, I believe that they are still way more unique uh, per faction than, than the older 5.0 version, which had a bunch of clone units, different weapons with the same model. So, uh, this sub mod should have the most varied rosters, but also, as we saw, it has vanilla ships and some other stuff unchanged. So it's not perfect by any means, uh, but uh, I believe if I'm gonna play this version, I probably want to do some changes to it. I, I will add some stuff from 5.6, such as Instead of having a unit with three dragons, we would have uh, three units with one dragon in each. 
uh, and uh, I would change the diplomacy of the Knight's Watch so that the issue with them uh, ending up the war with the Starks won't happen and uh, <coughs> I believe I would replace the ships with the uh, P-Man ships advanced from Fire and Blood, P-Man's mod <coughs> so that they have the same ships as in, in, in 5.6 I mean and uh, that's that, there might be something else I have missed okay, violins just end the turn the three areas with house Bolton and, and, and house Grey is turn okay, Seven areas, we are holding some areas in the north too. Right. Here we have Dagmar Cleftio and uh, Theon Greyjoy. <coughs> Theon used to be my favorite character in the, in the books. Greyjoy, as Aaron, nine areas. <coughs> Frey only has two areas, I believe. Twins, they were weak. Tully has seven areas. Their models are very different from the more recent ones. By the way, House Lannister has the strongest military and House Tyrell is the overall strongest faction, has the largest population and the best production while well, House Arryn has the best financial situation which isn't correct to lower as House Lannister should be the one with the best financial situation but um, besides that looking great okay, we have House Baratheon of King's Landing I would have probably replaced this stance with the one by Pima, the one from the show. Okay. He's done wonderful unit info pictures. Very unique for this mod at the moment, I believe. Game of Thrones of War, Fire and Blood by Pima is using completely different unit info cards by Pima. While Firestorm did his own for this mod, and 5.6, uh, I believe, lack unit info cards will probably end up using the same uh, because this is a sub mod of uh, <coughs> Game of Thrones to Lore Enhanced, so uh, it has pretty much the same models. There are, there are some new models in this version that are not present in 5.6, but uh, every unit in this mod is probably in, in that mod except the new ones. So for all the old units, it makes sense to use 40 uh, unit cards. I believe we are already using some of these unit cards. He ha didn't, uh, I believe he wasn't finished with them when I added the first few unit cards. And I believe he has finished all of them here. Okay. We have the building portraits. They could also be used, probably. I believe this mod has some unique buildings that are not in 5.6 So not all of them would be usable but All the buildings for vanilla, vanilla buildings would be used Okay We have House Baratheon of Dragonstone so there was Sivert and uh, Dennis. Okay. A friendly or a spreading of storm's end. Yeah, unit cards and I 
building cards and unit info cards. That and there's something we could use in 5.6. Firestorm is also a, a one of the developers there uh, because it was developed by me and Firestorm. So that's no problem. We'll most likely add anything from this mod that would enhance that version I was working on. Uh, I believe updating that mod back in 2021, but uh, I've been kind of tired uh, of modding medieval too. I haven't done a lot, but anyway, the idea is to move everything from this mod that uh, we want in that mod to that mod as well. And then also move some stuff from Fire and Blood, Demons mod, uh, that we got permission to use. And then update. So it will have the best of both this mod and uh, I believe the best of this mod will be moved to that mod and then it will have some stuff from Fire and Blood. Okay, that we do not have currently. Uh, Terrell. Yeah, I, I would want probably to modify this version a little bit before playing it because there are some strat models that I think needs to be added, like the princess models and the, the ship models, and we need to fix the, the dragon, and uh, and there might have been something else too that I forgot. But anyway, there, there are some some stuff that I believe I would want to add over from 5.6. Okay, the first rel here, as not tell. They have a much larger roster in this version than in 5.6. It would be more worth it to play it here. Play the faction here. Okay. As to Garion, their capital is um, Volantis. They have two areas to start. Huge city Volantis. The Drogo. Cow. Track, you also have a much larger roster in this version of the mod. You're, sorry, you're a Mormon, the Andal, the Dutraki army. Inside the land, you have Visserus Targaryen, the Sleeve Spearman, the Air Mercenaries in the area, I believe, the Dutraki troops. They mostly do tracky troops and mercenaries to traverse. No real Targaryen troops or <coughs> second sons or anything to start. Of course, we have all the 72 heroes in this mod too that we have in 5.6. <coughs> Peemans mod, Fire and Blood, also have those heroes, but they look different in Peemans mod because we use different body models and the same heads. Uh, so, um, but this mod should have the same models as 5.6. I believe that Firestorm has improved them. They have shields here, unlike in 5.6. Uh, and I believe that they also have some improvements on their models overall. I had uh, ported his new models for House Stark and House Bolton last year. Uh, but I and new units, but I didn't do any of the other packs. I've had VIPs by Firestorm ever since, I believe, summer 2021. But I haven't really done much, <coughs> except porting all the new stuff of House Stark and House Paul. <coughs> but nothing else, pretty much. You can hire mercenaries, like the Mercenary Catapult, Eastern Lancers, Axeman, Citrus, We can get Mercenaries here. The army would look like that. None of these cells were are in the other version. 5.6. So obviously we need to update 5.6 with a lot of stuff in this mod, but this mod could still use some stuff from 5.6. Uh, 
mostly strap. Okay. The the track and uh, the Targaryens they were very weak at the start. They will get dragons and that spawning. Okay, and the Dutraki, they are pretty strong, they have seven areas, including these wonderful strat models. We have a general, Jago, <coughs> Kalmoro, Kalakasego, Malako, Orso, Ralko. Oto, Taraku, Tarako, and Ego. So we have an entire track faction here. We have units like the track cavalry, track spearmen, track warriors, track horse archers, foot archers, track riders. This one is the track. They are pretty strong. They are only the Dothraki and the Targaryen stand here. They will fight each other. Then we have rebel areas over here. So it would be possible to add the uh, priests of Essence. But <coughs> Firestorm decided to not include them because he thought they didn't have much of a role in the team show. So, so they didn't fit. And uh, instead he made their areas, rebel areas, but in 5.6 I believe they will be kept as they are, but improved. We will probably use uh, some of the new units there and then still keep the free cities while adding the Dutrakis. We will be both the Dutraki, the free cities and House Targaryen. In this mod we have rebels, we have House Targaryen and we have the Dutraki in it. We're back here, let's exit. This mod uses the same UI, video and uh, loading pictures as 5.6. It's an alternate 5.6, <coughs> which aimed uh, to be like more like the older releases and have more features like for example the heroes will speak with their voice actors uh, voices when you click on them and you select them. Let's check uh, custom battle. <coughs> check all the factions. <coughs> Here we have. Have Stark, a pretty vast army, including heroes, custom battle and in the campaign, a mage Mormont, small your number, Clay Servin, Eddard Stark, and Robert Glover, <coughs> great your number, Rob Stark, Brandon Stark, Alice Hornwood, and Simon Manderley. And then in the campaign I believe that they have all of them except Eddard Stark because he's dead at the start of the campaign and instead they have uh, Rick and Stark in the campaign. So, so this is the entire Stark army including Norton troops, household troops and Car Starks and Bolton troops and Manly troops. Okay, and then we have House Frey, smaller army, they only have one hero. Uh, Valder Rivers, so of course Valder Frey is in the campaign, but he doesn't have a model. The, the models shown here all have unique custom models with heads that look like in the show. We have a lot of heroes for House Stark, only one hero for, Val for the House Frey faction. Valder Rivers. We have some new units. Unit cards and such. We have House Bolton, four heroes: Bruce Bolton, Ramsey Bolton, or Ramsey Snow, uh, Richard Carstark, and uh, Arian Carstark. 
they will have custom models. They have a smaller roster, including Norton troops, Bolton troops, and Mandalay troops, and I believe Carston troops. As Tully, they also have a smaller roster. I believe in 5.6 they have a larger roster. Piemans focuses to have more unique units and uh, less of the same. And then in the old version 5.0, it still used the old small map. In 2011, I believe that version had a really, really big roster for Hustal and some others. <coughs> Hustark, Stark, Hustal, and Hust Lannister, I believe, had really big rosters. And uh, maybe someone else too. So Hustal has, has Edmure Tully, the leader. They have uh, Brindan and Tully, the, the Blackfish. They have um, Jason Malister, Titus Blackwood, and Janus Bracken, all with unique cast models. Then we have Greyoy. We have, of course, Euron Greyoy, Leon Greyoy, and Asher Greyoy, all with unique cast models. The Greyoy faction is the smallest in the game. We have hardly any regional or um, minor houses troops, mi minor house troops. So they, they are really small. They only have the ironborn and the, the house grey or house troops. And we have house Lannister. They have a pretty big army, including the Golden Company mercenaries and the elephants. The Golden Company elephants, they are mercenaries too. The heroes like Tywin Lannister, Adam Arbrand, Gregor Cregane, The Mountain, Jaime Lannister, The Kingslayer, Evan Lannister, Er uh, Tywin, so the House Lannister, and uh, Lyle Craighall. Okay, so that's the heroes of House Lannister. Others are part of House uh, Baratheon of King's Landing or House Joffrey. Okay, so we have House Aaron. It's also a rather small roster. We have uh, heroes such as Robin Aaron, Robert Aaron, Harold Harding, <coughs> Petir Baelish or Littlefinger, and uh, Von Royce. And then we have a Spratum of King's Landing. Had a pretty big roster. Including the Golden Company. A hero such as Harry Strickland. Golden Company hero, leader. And we have Bronn. Of Blackwater, I believe. Sandra Clegane. The Hound. And we have Tom and Baratheon. The Air. Joffrey Baratheon. King. The Iron Throne, we have Tyrion Lannister, the Imp, the Dwarf. So many heroes there too, and then we have Hus, the back of Hus Stark. Check the others. Baratheon of Dragonstone, Hus Baratheon of Storm's End, Hus Tyrell, Hus Martell, Hus Targaryen. Wildlings of the free, free folk, <coughs> the Night's Watch, the Dothraki, the House Baratheon of Dragonstone, House Stannis. We have a bunch of Baratheon troops, Dragonstone troops, and uh, Cell Swords, and some others like Florent troops. Their heroes are Stannis Baratheon. The true king and David Sievert. Then they have Beric Dondarrion in custom battle, but he is, I believe, a hero of the rebels. Then we have uh, Master Garion. They do not have access to the Golden Company here. They were fighting them in, in the lore, the books. I believe in 5.6 they had access to the Golden Company. I will probably change that. I didn't really remember that they were fighting them. Okay, so uh, the Nars Targaryen. <coughs> okay, 
between the the, the Naris and then we have Graveworm. For instance, sell me <coughs> your Mormont and Darien Harris. And we have three units of dragons here. I don't know if they are one per dragon, but probably in custom battle they are most likely. We have some Merc Naris, the Ravosi Swordsman, Norvosh Axe Guards, and the uh, Mirish Crossbowman, and uh, Inblown cavalry, and then we have the ordinary troops like the Lutraki, Unsullied, Second Sons, uh, Not the biggest army, and then we have Asperakin of Storm's End, another smaller army. We have heroes like Eldric Storm, using a model that, model that looks like Gendry, and we have Render Bratian, Robert Bratian, and Brian of Tart. I believe that um, Robert Bratian is only in custom battle, but he's dead during the campaign. Uh, and then we have the free people or the Vidlings. They have access to Giants. And they have more modern Giants than in 5.6. They have the ones that P-Man made. They will be added to 5.6 later. We have the same Mammoth. Probably with a much better portrait uh, made by Firestorm, and then we have heroes like Steer the Magnet of Ten, the Thurman Giant Spain, Man's Raider King Beyond the Wall, and Ygritte the, the Wildling. We have their army, including a new unit of Children of the Forest from Fire and Blood. And we have House Arel. They have a large army here too. Not as big, but still big. They have heroes like Miss Tyrell and Loras Tyrell, Randall Tarley, Dickon Tarley, and Bale High Tarley. They probably have some new units too. They have the Night's Watch with heroes like Don Snow, Elizabeth Thorn, and Eor Mormont. They also have access to children of the forest and their own troops. Nothing new. The Vildings and the Night's Watch have access to the children of the forest. They should be really good, they can throw fireballs at them. Okay. Then we have House Martell. The leader, Doran Martell. Then we have, of course, his brother, Oberyn Martell, Red Viper. And we have Anders Ironwood and Hermann Uller. Okay, and they have some new units. The Uller Horse Archers and the Martell Auxiliaries. And uh, probably more than that. So this is House Martell. Then we have the track. They are still very small. They are probably smaller than House Grey. It's a faction, but they still have a bunch of new units. They have the Catapult. And they have the Warriors. They were in the 5.6 version as well. Spearmen. I believe it could be new. I believe they had Archers, Swords, Warriors, which is Swordsmen, and then. They had mounted archers and mounted swordsmen. And here they have spearmen too. And the Dothraki riders, ordinary cavalry. The melee cavalry. Blood riders, that's their bodyguard. Dothraki cavalry. Their horse archers. Uh, maybe they are javelin throwers. And these are horse archers. They have a new unit of javelin throwing cavalry. And a new unit of spearmen. The bodyguard is added here. They have a new hero, the Great Cow. It's his own unique model. So, Kaldrogo is a hero of the Dothraki in custom battle. He is a hero for House Targaryen in the campaign. They have Eastern Cell Swords, an Axeman, and they have Spearmen. They have Bowmen and Eastern Lancers as Marcus as well as the. American Air Catbolt, and they have access to the Sons of the Harper too. Okay. 
finally we have the others under the same units and other mod. Okay, this is Game of Thrones Total War Enhanced Retro Mod by Firestorm. Adding new units, new scripts, a new map, and uh, with certain differences compared to 5.6, but overall it's the same mod, just an alternate version. And it's uh, the most recent, released less than a week ago, or, um, or a week ago or something, I don't remember exactly the date. But anyway, it's uh, been, uh, been out for about a week, and uh, it's the latest Game of Thrones lore enhanced mod released. As we saw, certain things are not perfect, but um, I would say that it has the most uh, up-to-date uh, rosters in, 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 uh, in any of the GOT enhanced mods and the most up-to-date strat models and uh, gameplay is most up-to-date and the UI stuff but it might not have uh, all the eye candy that we want such as uh, TV show ships and, and princesses and might not have all the units of other versions as Firestorm decided to use fewer units that look different from each other rather than many units that look the same. Okay, but thank you for watching and I will probably play this but I will do some personal modifications on it first. Okay, thank you for watching.